Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights. We got a special treat for everybody here today. This is a Fox Knives Nauta, and it's a traveling knife. And this knife was donated to the community as a traveling knife by a good friend of the community, Terrell Snyder. So, Terry, thank you so much for providing this knife for us all to look at. These traveling knives are great because uh, us channels, we get to... Uh, pass this knife amongst one another and we get to uh you know meet everybody and grow our friendships and it's it's so nice to be able to have knives that perhaps we wouldn't be buying but we have a chance to review it so thanks once again terry for this wonderful opportunity now this knife started out with uh john over there at jo ventures outdoors and he made this wonderful slip for it and we'll take a look at that in just a minute and then the knife went to Warthog. Warthog did a review on it. And I purposely did not watch his review because I, I wanted to review this, you know, fresh. Just my initial impressions. I'll go back and watch his uh, when I'm done with this one. But, uh, and after I get done with it, it's going to go to the professor himself, Tobias Gibson, to uh, have a gander at. So that will be interesting. I always like to see uh, Tobias's take on knives with all of his knowledge. So once again, this is a Fox Knives Nauta, N-A-U-T-A, which I believe is the root word probably for nautical. Um, looking up the definition in Latin or ancient Greek, it looks like nauta is loosely translated to the word sailor. Now that's important because this knife was designed by Fox Knives for the German Navy. Yeah. Here's an initial look at it. Now this knife was, uh, let's see, it was rated the best new slip joint in 2020 by Knife News. Yeah. A very modern take on an old pattern. And when I first picked this knife up, what I saw was the thickness of that blade. So if it's designed for Sailors, it's designed to be cutting rope, for one. Rope or line. And you can see it's got a nice thick stock for that. Nice thick back spring. Let me close this up here. Nice big thick back spring there. Very nice fit and finish. Now, as a knife reviewer, you know, we nitpick just a little bit. So, you know, there is a, just a tiny, tiny little bit of gapping there. But it does not uh, affect the function of the knife whatsoever. But it's got these uh, micarta covers, handles. And these also come in wood. There's a couple different kinds of wood that this will come in. Let me see here. Check real quick. I think they're also available in zircote and olive wood handles. Now, the price on this knife varies. I saw it listed anywhere from $74 to $94, depending on which model you get. So, you know, do your shopping with your online knife stores. But, it fits in the hand very well. It's very comfortable. And as you can see right away, it's a pattern that looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? In some ways... It kind of looks like a sod buster. So this is a junior sod buster. So I'll put this up here just so you get a just a little bit of a comparison on size. Now, of course, the blade thickness is way thicker than on a sod buster. But yep, kind of that. Uh, it's got echoes of the sod buster design. So in designing this knife for the German Navy, what they did is they took a well, we, this goes by several names. I know it as a bosun's knife. A bosun's mate in the Navy takes care of the outside of the skin of the ship and does the rigging and takes care of the small boats. So we called this a bosun's knife. But uh, you might be familiar with uh, mariner's knife, sailor's knife, yachtsman's knife. And uh, the reason is, is whoops because of that right there 
then you can use that there to uh, untie knots or use it as you're making knots. So that locks in place. So we'll fold that marlin spike back. We'll take a look at the blade on this. And this is a Camillus made, and I did carry this in the Navy. It was given to me by another sailor to use and to carry. It was available in the, the uh, Navy supply system. You can see the this one, even the Camillus, has a much th thicker blade than a normal knife. But it seems to be even a little bit thinner than on this Nauta. So anyway, what they did is they... Took a knife design like this, got rid of the marlin spike, and came up with this design. Now, <laughs> as far as blade shape, you can uh, you can call it what you want. I've seen it listed as a sheep's foot, and I've seen it listed as a spear point. So it's kind of like a, a modified sheep's foot or ram's foot, and a, I don't know, modified spear point. To me, in a way, it's a drop point. I don't know. Call it what you would like to. Uh, let me see. Let's take a look at the tang stamp here. Is it Fox? Ross Fry? And it does look like these handles are removable. So you could take those off. Got this nice little lanyard hole here. And we'll look at the my micarta here real quick. Did just a fine job with that micarta. Look at that. That looks very nice there. Now as far as walk and talk, it has a lazy half stop in it. You can see that right there. We'll try that again. You can see there, kind of a lazy half stop. But it's got good snap, good action to it. I think with this blade, you could get some real work done with it. All right, I want to look at this slip that uh, John made. And John is always so generous with his time and materials. Every time we do a traveling knife, it seems like he does up a slip for it. This beautiful green, just gorgeous. Move my light over here a little better. Got nice scenery there, mountain scenery. But it's on the back. Check that out. I just love these footprints representing the traveling. And of course you got J.O. there and the American flag. John, your work just keeps getting better and better and better. I love it. So hey everybody, make sure and thank uh, J.O. for making this wonderful slip look at that who would not like to have this I sure wish I sure wish I could uh, just keep it you know it's gonna be hard to put this in the mail <laughs> oh boy so beautiful knife beautiful slip now we'll just go over some of the specs here real quick on the knife its overall length is 7.375 inches. The blade length is three and a quarter inches. You have a three inch cutting edge on it. And the blade thickness is uh, 0.16 inches. The blade material is 420. It's got a Rockwell hardness of 54 to 56. And the blade grind is flat, nice flat grind. And you got a stone wash finish on the blade. And the weight is 2.19 ounces. And it has steel liners. So just one more little peek here overall. What a wonderful knife. Like I said, it fits in the hand really well. Doesn't seem to be any hot spots on it, of course. It's hard to tell without actually going out and using the knife for the for a day or so, but just initially here it seems very firm. Uh, you can get a nice firm grip on it there, and I believe you could get some work done with this. Kind of a beast of a smaller knife. 
So, well, once again, thank you, Terrell, for donating this knife for its uh, travels. Thank you, John, for your review and your slip. Thank you, Warthog. Oh, I didn't, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, they did send some stickers here. Um, I have both of their stickers, so I'll be sending these along, and I'll throw in one of mine. And real quickly, we'll take a look at the box. Here's the Fox Knives box. Made in Italy. I don't think I said that yet. Yep, it's made in Italy. So there you have it. Hey, this might even be able to go to California because it's not warning RJ not to lick it. I guess this one doesn't cause cancer, maybe. So there you go, RJ. Here's a California-approved one, I guess. And um, since it was designed over there in Italy, I believe this is like UK-friendly. But I'm not not up on all the all the laws, but maybe Canadian and UK friendly. Well, down here in the lower right hand corner, I'll put a link to one of my playlists. Down here in the center, that big round knife delights. Why so hit that if you'd like to subscribe. Down here in the lower left hand corner, well, that's just the next video YouTube thinks you should watch. So until next time, have a very delightful day.